Today, Friday, October 30th, 2020, the Ministry of Health received confirmation of two new cases of COVID-19. This brings a total number of cases diagnosed to date in country to 78. Case number 77 is a 34-year-old male from the Castries district. Case number 78 is a 31-year-old female from the Grosley district. Both of these cases were identified through the contact tracing process and following testing for COVID-19 were placed in quarantine while awaiting their results. Both cases number 77 and number 78 are contacts of case number 55. As per protocol, arrangements have been made for their transfer into care at the respiratory hospital. The Ministry of Health today recorded a recovery of one case of COVID-19, resulting in 50 cases now being active in care in country. Today, the government of St. Lucia announced a series of advisories which will be in effect for 30 days. These advisories have been introduced to secure the health of our nation. With every challenge comes opportunity. The Ministry of Health therefore encourages everyone to utilize these 30 days to improve how we regulate our movements and behaviors to reduce the risk of exposure. These 30 days provide us with adequate time to form new lifestyle habits, with reduced movements and more time to be within our homes it is possible for us to improve our family life. Do not allow yourself to overconsume things that are worrying and stressful for you. Rather, find time on a daily basis doing this to improve your mental health and to help distress. By doing so, we can all at the end of the next 30 days be safer and healthier people, not only as it relates to COVID-19, but also in terms of our overall health and well-being. Let's continue to practice the guidelines to reduce exposure to the virus. Always wear your mask when you are in public. Maintain a separation of six feet from others, which is about two arms length apart. Wash hands frequently with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Seek medical care if you are experiencing respiratory symptoms such as fever, cough, shortness of breath, or sore throat. By doing all of this in combination, we will each make, be making a big contribution to improving the safety of everyone. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as information becomes available.